The sun has yet to rise over the Ellington Air Force Base, but astronaut Mary Ellen Weber is already here. When you're going into space for the first time, you don't want to be late. In the past uh, few weeks, I've definitely, you know, become more comfortable. You know, I feel, you know, I feel like I'm ready to do this. Hi, it's Tom Hendricks. Uh, the 70 crew is about to leave Ellington. We should be here in about 30 minutes. Commander Tom Hendricks and the other astronauts will fly themselves to Florida, an hour and a half trip right across the Gulf. It's a global positioning satellite system receiver so that we can tell exactly where we are and fly a point to point. Four of the five astronauts are from Ohio, so you could call this the Buckeye mission. Nancy Curry is an OSU graduate. From four small Ohio towns they've come, and together they're heading for the stars. Morning. Morning. It's a great day to fly. Look at the clouds are clearing up. When you're an astronaut, every day's a great day to fly. You guys have a good one. With the moon peeking over their shoulders, the astronauts fire up the engines on their T-38 jets. Nothing like being in the shuttle, but flying is flying. So after training for nearly a year, spending countless hours in simulators and trying to prove they have the right stuff, our Ohio astronauts are on their way to Cape Canaveral. Astronaut Kevin Kriegel is ready for the dress rehearsal. There you go down to Florida, and you strap in in the real suits, in the real rocket, and you go through all the things that you're going to do just before launch. The only difference is they don't light the candle. That won't happen for three weeks, the day the Buckeye mission is launched into space. Kurt Ludlow, Eyewitness News, Houston.